Hello and welcome to the world of recipe. This is Vaishali. I know we are meeting after a long gap, but I have come with a fantastic recipe for all of you. That is Maharashtra's famous street food, Misar Pav. It's most famous in Pune, Mumbai and Nashik. So quickly see the ingredients. For this recipe, we need one cup white peas, two medium sized onions, tomato, two tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, desiccated coconut, about two tablespoon. We are going to spice up this recipe with these spices. These are red chilies, three or four red chilies you can take, a cinnamon stick, these are two long sticks, cloves, about half tablespoon, paper corns, about one tablespoon. And this is sev bhaji masala about one tablespoon i'm using sev bhaji masala here you can use garam masala as well chili powder as you require as we are using red chilies you can use this red chili powder according to your taste turmeric powder about one teaspoon salt as per requirement we are going to use some fasan while serving and of course we are going to serve it with the pav. Let's start with the recipe now. I have soaked this white piece in normal water for about 3 to 4 hours and then I have uh, pressure cooked it for 2 whistles in pressure cooker. Now I am going to grind this uh, spices in a grinder till it becomes a fine powder. I put this paper corns, cloves, chilies and cinnamon stick and I am going to grind it for the fine part. This spice powder is ready. These were uh, raw spices. Now I am going to roast it. Heat up on pan, add oil to the pan. Here I am adding about 2 tablespoons of oil. We are using more oil in this recipe as it is a spicy and flavorful recipe. As the oil is hot, we are going to add these onions. As you can see, this onion has turned little brown now. We will add this ginger and garlic paste. Roast the ginger garlic paste in this oil. All the spices should be roasted nicely. Now the ginger garlic paste has roasted nicely. Now I'm going to add this ground spice powder. We have grounded the spices raw so now I am going to roast it nicely. I have already smelling that aroma here. Flour, cinnamon stick, red chilies. Giving nice aroma here. I roast them for one, about half a minute. And after that, put this desiccated coconut and roast it again till the Coconut becomes dark brown in color. Now this is done. Now switch off the stove and let this mixture cool down completely. And then you have to grind this mixture along with these tomatoes in a grinder for a fine paste. Now this masala is ground. Now let's start making misa. Heat up another pan and put about 2 tablespoon of oil again as I told you this recipe will have lots of oil but if you want to reduce the quantity of oil you can do that and as the oil is heating we are going to add this ground masala to
Later you can wash this chan and put this water in the curry. Now I'm going to put cover on this pan and let this uh, spices cook for about one minute. As the tomatoes are raw, we need to cook them properly. Now oh, as you can see, the tomatoes are cooked. Now let's add other spices. This shave bhaji masala I'm adding. And some turmeric powder. About one teaspoon of turmeric powder I'm adding here. And three teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoon red chili powder. This you can adjust according to your taste. If you want more spicy, you can add more. Or if you are making it for children, you can make it less. Now let it roast for half a minute. As the spices are roasted now, I am going to add this white peas. I am going to add this white peas along with little water in this. Now first we let this peas cook in this gravy for about 10 minutes on low medium flame and then we are going to add more water in this. So let's cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, wow what an aroma, I just like feeling eating right away. Now we need to add water. I washed this mixer pot. This mixer gravy is always thin, so we are going to add more water in this. This much thin consistency should be there. Now let it have a boil. My serving plate is also ready. It has pao, lemon peas and some finely chopped onions. Switch up the stove and serve the mixer. For serving mixer, we need to put this fursan at the bottom. About 2 tablespoons of fursan I put. And then put this mixer. Garnish it with some onion and tomato pieces and if you like you can put coriander leaves also. This mouth watering misa pav is ready. This quantity will serve 8 people. I can't wait to take a bite. Thanks for watching this recipe. For more recipes keep on watching world of recipes. Thank you.